So Nick and John, another uh, Boniface demonstration today at the 2019 Toe Show. Why is it so important that you demonstrate the equipment? Today? Well, I think that we need to showcase the ability of the, the, the product that's on the, on the market. And equally, we need to showcase the skills and the training of the operatives that are doing it. And it's very, very important. It's always very popular with these visitors. And, and we like to try and put on a really interesting show for them. And I hope we, we've achieved that this time. That's a part of, part of the year, isn't it, for you guys? Yeah, it certainly is. So what happens, particularly with Boniface and, and Miller Industries, is that they're constantly updating their equipment. We as training bodies are coming out with new techniques and, and new ideas and new safety things and stuff. So we try and bring that together. But it's a bit of a, a thing that we do here where we're trying to teach people new techniques, but also showcase the equipment as it is. So from really little trucks to the biggest trucks, just trying to make it interesting for everybody. But I think it speaks for itself in that yesterday we had these 150 seats full and both areas either side of it completely full as well. So there's no room out there for anybody else. So I think it speaks for itself that people want to come and see it. It's Even not, today with bad weather, it was full capacity. It's not always about the trucks, it's about the technology inside the vehicles, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of um, things going on. We've talked a lot today about electric vehicles and the unique problems that they bring. And, uh, like for instance, that rear steer trailer. You know that more and more trailers now are rear steer um, for, for various reasons. And so, what Boniface has done is been able to manufacture something that will help people recover those trailers. So you two are legends of the industry. You'll be back next year, no doubt, 2020. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> If we're still around, so. yeah, yeah. And you're about to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, John, aren't you? Uh, I'm very honoured for that. So, it, it, more, more than I can mention, really. You know, yeah. And he's joining you, isn't he, Nick? I think. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, Nick, Nick, it's Nick. a great accolade. Yeah, I, I was uh, class of 2012, so I've been in there for seven years now. And I, I try and get back as often as I can. I can't go every year because it's an expensive trip, it takes a lot of time out to go and do it. I wasn't actually going this year until I found out that he was getting inducted, so you know, I'm going really to support him and, and to see him go in there because it's a very proud moment. Even prouder for me now, I've been asked by them if I'll carry the UK flag in the ceremony as he goes in. So, you know, it's kind of a double honour for me. But, yeah, it's, you know, there's there's very few UK operators that are in that towing museum all the time. So, you know, it's, it's a thing to be really proud of. I'm proud for I'm pretty made up over it. But, uh, uh, it's all a bit of a... a, bit of a I don't know, I hope it feels a bit of a bubble at the moment. I hope I can take that forward, you know, and do the best. I've always given everything I can to the industry to try and help promote it in safety. I'm paranoid there for safety, just like Nick is. So that's the way it is. Um, we, we know it's a dangerous workplace, very dangerous, and we want to try and make it as safe as possible. We need to embrace modern technology on the road with modern technology to do the job. And by promoting this, we can save one life. We've done a good job. Well, so over time, you've both saved many lives. So from the show itself, as friends of the show, we do look forward to seeing you next year, the year after, the year after, and many, many years after that. And good luck with your Hall of Fame induction. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thank you.